Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how I get all of the nutrition that I need on a plant-based vegan lifestyle. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And if you do end up enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate the support. So I'm putting together a smoothie right here and I thought this would be a good time to talk about how I get all the nutrition that I need with the type of diet that I eat. And so there's some different things I'm gonna be putting in this smoothie. I'm gonna go through that. Uh, I'm gonna start off with some bana with three bananas and a couple, about two and a half cups of frozen blueberries and some water. I'm gonna get it started with that in just a second. But I'm also gonna be adding some other things that have a lot of different nutrients in them, like, for example, some Daily Green Boost, which is just uh, dried barley grass juice powder, and it's super nutritious, and some Marcus Roscrans Green Pro C Mix, which is powdered herbs, uh, fruits and veggies, very, very nutritious. So these are just a couple things that I add in regularly to make sure that I get everything that I need. So let me blend this real quick and I'm gonna explain a little more. So as far as supplements, I'm not huge into supplements. I do take a B12 pill and besides the B12, that is pretty much the only supplement that I take because I make sure that I get out in the sunshine, get my vitamin D. Um, during the months where it's colder here in Oregon, I try to travel as much as I can to get to warmer places, so I, mainly so I can get out of the cold and get sunshine. And um, in the future, I do plan on being able to travel even more during the winter so I can get all the sunshine that I need. So there's a lot of good and bad things that I've heard with vitamin D pills, supplementation, but um, that is definitely something I recommend researching further if you're not able to get sunshine because you definitely need to get vitamin D. Now the problem is the sun provides more than just vitamin D. So that's why just taking vitamin D may not be everything that you need. So I recommend doing your own research on that but um, getting out and getting fresh air and sunshine as much as possible is definitely important. Now, another supplement that I wanna talk about is iodine. Um, I personally don't take iodine because I don't eat a totally salt-free diet, so I do get iodine supplemented with some salt that I do have in my diet. Now, if you're doing a diet that's totally salt-free, that is another supplement that I do recommend looking into because the body definitely needs iodine as well. So B12, vitamin D, and iodine, I know those are three of the big ones that um, people can be deficient on. Besides that, just eating a wide range of fruits and vegetables, whole plant foods, uh, taking in this daily green boost, which is really great, uh, the Marcus Roscrans Green Pro C Mix, really great as well. Now, also another thing I definitely get plenty of is greens. So I always put greens in my smoothies, usually. I put greens in my smoothies and I eat big salads quite often. Every day at least one big salad, pretty much. So let me get some greens in there. And let me blend this up. I'm gonna add a little more water just so it blends up well. Oh, smells good. All right, so next in my smoothie, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in some Daily Green Boost. Usually two tablespoons, that's about a serving. Lots of nutrition in this here. I'm almost out, just ordered more. And then I'm gonna put in some uh, cocoa powder, cocoa powder, this is raw. This is really good. Gives it a nice chocolatey flavor. A couple of tablespoons of that. I'm gonna put in 
some soaked chia seeds. Now I like to soak them because I think it's better, it, it really is great for digestion it seems. So I always soak my chia seeds. I use about a third cup of chia seeds to a cup and a half of water. And then I, you throw that in the refrigerator, let that soak for a couple hours, and then it lasts usually like three days. I'll put in usually a few huge tablespoons of that. Great omega-3 fats in there as well. And I also sometimes use hemp seeds, different sorts of seeds that are good with them, good for omega-3 fats. And then I got some raw almond butter. So some healthy fat and protein here. Put in a couple big, no shoot, a couple big tablespoons of the almond butter. Making a mess here. Hi kitty. And then last but not least, I'm gonna put in some of the Marcus Roscrans Green Pro C Mix. Lots of herbs in here, greens, all kinds of stuff, some nuts and seeds. So I'll put in a big table, or not a tablespoon, maybe a quarter cup of that. And that is about it for this smoothie. Let me finish mixing that up. All right, so there it is. Smoothies, one of the great ways to get in all your nutrition. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. Get it, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like it. And we'll be back soon with another video. Have a great day.